Hey YouTube, this is Damien from Mr. Tidy Garden channel and today I'm going to be doing the review of the newly bought Still RM 4.0 RTP dedicated mulching mower. Now, I also purchased the Still RM 655V recently which has the collecting and mulch plug option and I'm going to compare both now at the end of the video, the pros and the cons. It's nice to have both on board now, the fleet, I'll be honest. Um, so, I have worked this machine for the last four weeks on all surfaces. Hills, slopey gardens, flat gardens, rentals, and prestigious gardens. And I find that it has performed well. Now, also here, quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Still. And also, this is not a paid review. This is off my own back, and I want to help you guys make the right decision when purchasing a machine and get the right machine for your own business and also that you won't be wasting any money. So here's the machine now and as you can see there's a plastic handle in the front which I find is very handy when cleaning the deck in the machine and also when there's a two-man carry when you have to carry the machine down the steps. There's a dome underneath the the deck dome guys is a great design. It gives the grass enough time to escape and recycle and with two passings you will cut the grass nice and tight there is a front wheel drive system in this which is belt driven and there's aluminium wheels which are also uh, covered by with rubber obviously and uh, very little vibration there's also a five setting aluminium adjuster which i think is fantastic a plastic adjuster always breaks so a good solid robust machine i have to say the machine travels at a good speed in terms of, you know, it's a nice walking speed. It'll drag you along, but also it's not going too quick. So it's mulching up the grass, the leaves as you're going along. And I find now in the autumn, when the grass is dry, that it's a great little machine to take out and just give the leaves a mulch with the grass. And then you can just blow them into a heap and collect them up, you know, fairly along the way. So the front wheel belt drive driven, I find does less damage to a prestigious garden, especially at this time of the year, meaning that when you're turning the corner, you can kind of tilt the machine, as you see here and what I'm doing, you can kind of tilt the machine up and leave the, the rear wheels placed on the lawn. And the fact that you're releasing the drive wheels off the grass, meaning that there's no digging going on. Whereas I find that with the rear wheel drive, the still RM 655V, it digs into the ground and then I'm repairing the lawn afterwards the aluminium wheels guys are fantastic and i find them very tough especially coming in and out of the van and two passes Les, as i said there now two passes of of a cut and you know it's absolutely spot on the cut is fantastic there's no grass left behind there's no bit sticking up once you go over it twice it's 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 a done deal you know it's absolutely fantastically performing machine no the faults I find with this machine, all right, is that the handles can be a little bit uncomfortable when using after a couple of hours, rather than the still RM 655V. I find the handles are more comfortable on this, but the fact that I'm five foot ten and I'm under six foot, I find this machine is the perfect height for me. So if you're over six foot, you could find that this machine might, you know, especially if you're using them for hours and hours on end. This machine might start hurting your back because you could be leaning forward. You can see now, as I'm walking along here, I'm keeping myself nice and straight and upright. And I'm in a nice, comfortable walking position. Which is essential because, you know, you're working all summer long. And you want a machine that's going to suit you, your your body shape. And also the gardens that you're predominantly cutting as well, you know. On the hills, the front wheel drive guys struggles. I find that, that you know, you have to do a bit more work on the hills and i meaning hills on when it's on the side slopes it can skid a bit whereas the rear wheel drive on a hill pulls along a lot easier and that's something that that's where i do my bit of swapping and changing out from machine i'd take out the still rm 655v just for the hilly surfaces because it'll pull along now both machines are powered by the caller 175cc uh, engine which i find is a very high performing engine it's low noise and it's very economical now what i have noticed in the last couple of in the last week actually is that when i'm releasing and disengaging the self drive lever the wheels 
keep spinning on the the mulching more you know the dedicated mulch more the 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 four uh, the four point oh RTP. I find that they're still spinning. Maybe it's a manufacturer fault, or maybe it could be a common fault. You know, um, I don't know what's going on with that. That's that's been a bit of a letdown now for me because I'm quite aware of it. But if there was someone else operating the machine, they might run into a bit of difficulty, meaning that they might disengage the lever, come into a corner, and then it might continue into a step, do a bit of damage to um. A flower bed it might take off into the flower bed you just don't know so it's all down to the operator and as you can see here now when i buy a machine guys i work the machine i'll work that machine for you know for the couple of years that i have it i'll work it i'll mulch up leaves i'll mulch up grass i'll do everything that i possibly can and i'll get my value out of the machine and then i'll return the machine and upgrade the machine you know but all in all now i have to say that look it's a robust machine it's a quite capable machine I seem to be using it a lot more now than the, the still RM655V, meaning that I probably, it suits me better for what I do, especially now with a lot of rentals and whatnot. And again, when you're mulching grass, guys, it puts the nutrients and nitrogen back down into the lawn again and it feeds the lawn for the client. So there you go. There's my review. Thanks.